With the full solar eclipse last April still fresh in many people's minds, we wanted to tell you about another eclipse happening next week. It's a lunar eclipse, and it'll be unique because it'll be a full red or blood moon eclipse. Krista Rose has more from the planetarium at St. Vincent College. John Fogarty once sang there's a bad moon on the rise and maybe he was referring to what's coming our way next week in the wee hours of the morning of March 14th. While people may remember the big solar eclipse from April of last year, Dr. Daniel Vandenberg from St. Vincent College says that there's a difference between a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse and it's kind of night and day. The moon casts a shadow on the Earth during a solar eclipse, but during a lunar eclipse, it is the moon that goes into the Earth's shadow. And while you can see a lunar eclipse every few years on Earth, it's rare to be in full totality of one. And that's why the lunar eclipse that's coming up is so interesting. Everyone in North America will get to experience this full totality in what is known as a blood moon. The entirety of the moon is in the, uh, fully in the Earth's shadow, and we get that very deep, dark brown, red, reddish color of the moon. And that happens because the sun's light, even though the sun's light is blocked out, some of the light passes through the Earth's atmosphere and gets scattered, and the light that reaches the moon is very reddish in color. Unlike the solar eclipse, Dr. Vandenberg says that you don't need special glasses for viewing and looking at the moon with your naked eye won't hurt you. And he says that if you use a telescope or binoculars, it can only enhance your viewing of this totality that will last just over an hour. And while you can view this eclipse from anywhere, Dr. Vandenberg says that St. Vincent College will be welcoming people onto campus to watch with students and faculty alike and to have a great shared scientific experience. We don't know a lot about um, the origin of the moon, the, its uh, history, its geology. So we don't necessarily learn a lot about those things during lunar eclipses, but one thing it shows us is that um, the sky is a very spectacular place. It's one of the things that makes studying astronomy so enjoyable. Now again, full totality for this blood moon will be around 225 in the morning on Friday, March 14th. So if you want to see it, you're either going to have to stay up late or get up very early. Reporting from the Angelo Tiani Planetarium at St. Vincent College, Krista Rose, KDKA-TV News.